Hi, this is Bob Warfield from CNC Cookbook. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a CNC guitar design in your CAD software so you can use your CNC machine to go ahead and carve out the guitar. We'll start by just trying to get the outline of the guitar body. So the way we're going to do it is really pretty simple. Uh, we start by collecting a bunch of photos of guitars we like. Uh, we can overlay that photo in our CAD software, trace it, do a little bit of cleanup, and that's all it takes. You go through that process and you have yourself a nice outline for a guitar body. Uh, so let's go ahead and try it. So for starters, I've got a Pinterest account here that I use to collect my guitar photos. Uh, you can see it's uh, pinterest.com slash CNC cookbook slash guitars if you want to check it out. I have about 149 pins in here. And you can see a variety of different guitars are captured that I liked. Now, it's really most helpful if you can have a real head-on shot here, uh, similar to this one, uh, because it makes it easy to to see the uh, guitar dead on as you do it in a top view in your CAD software without any kind of distortion. So I just took a bunch of those photos and saved them off to my local hard drive. You can see them here, get an idea for what that looks like, no big deal. And now I want to go in and I want to trace one of them. So I'm going to show how to do this in uh, Rhino 3D. There's a lot of different uh, CAD software out there that has the ability to uh, trace an image. Uh, you can use some automatic uh, tools to try to convert your image completely automatically over to a CAD drawing, but it's so easy to trace, I'm not gonna bother with that. So I've already got an image here that I had traced. Uh, so let me bring on another one, and I wanna do several of these all in the same size so I get a little collection of uh, body outlines that I can work with for future projects, okay? So in Rhino, you just come over here and, and right-click your uh, viewport. And you go down, there's a background bitmap option, and it says place. So, oh, let's do something a little more classic than those designs I was messing around with. Uh, we'll take this guitar, and you tell it where you want to put it. I want to get it approximately the same size as... Uh, all these other guitars are. We'll worry about scaling them later. But there we have it. Right? We've got our classic and familiar guitar shape ready to go. Now, you can trace the headstock, the neck, whatever you want. In this particular video, I'm very focused on uh, tracing the body. So what I like to do is first, I do a rectangle for the neck pocket. And I just want to get real zoomed in here so I can see just exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to put one corner of it there. And we'll put the other corner right here. Okay, that's my neck pocket. And now I'm ready to start tracing. And I'm going to use these, uh, these curves to do that. And so I'm going to start dropping curve points right along this outline. And you can see what's going on. And the sharper the bend, the sharper the change in the curve, the more points you have to use to keep it accurate. See, if I just come straight down here, the line cuts across, and it's it's not a very accurate representation of the curve. So I've got to go collect a bunch of these. Okay. I'm just going around here, and I stay real zoomed in so I can really see what I'm doing well. Oh, here's a big transition coming up. That's going to require lots of these control points to get that right. See that? We made it around that little curve. You just kind of may want to stretch out your, your uh, control points here a little bit. Just see what's going on how closely they follow. See, this is starting to change direction pretty fast here, so I can't do too many, too long lines before I drop another control point to hold things together. Okay, go along. 
All right, now I'm going to pause this video and jump ahead real quick so you can see what it looks like when I get done picking out the point. Okay, I'm back with the uh, uh, outline all traced. You can see it doesn't look too bad. It's this yellow area. Let's, get the, let's pick up the neck pocket so you can see what that looks like. If we hide our video or background bitmap temporarily, you can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. But there's a little divot over here. So that's what I meant by cleanup. It's a little bit hard to see sometimes what's going on. So we want to fix that and make it a little more flowing. And you can either do this with the bitmap on or off. But let's go ahead and uh, let's show our bitmap again. And let's get real zeroed in. Yeah, I see. You can tell that I'm not, I didn't follow the outline quite right over here. So you come down here and turn on these control points. And you just grab them and drag them out to where they're more nearly lined up with the desired outline of the of the guitar like so and if I pull back on that and take another look at it yeah see that looks a lot better so that's basically all you've got to do to wind up with uh, outlines to use to make your guitar design you turn these back off put this one down with the others and that my friends is our video on this portion of the guitar design we'll be back soon with another video to show you how to do the rest of the guitar design thanks very much if you like these videos be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel so you don't miss any